In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to draw an animated map trail when the trail or track that you're following is highly irregular. We have another tutorial about how to do this when you have an airplane flight on a map and it's simply a straight line from point A to point B. But as you might guess, what we have in this case is a lot more convoluted. Before we show you how to do that, let's show you an example of the finished result. In order to do this, we had to take our map and we had to break it up in segments. The problem I ran into is if I try to unmask part of this map, I can only do a segment at a time because if I move a mask across here, I will, I will unveil the part I want, but then I will start unveiling the part I don't want. And so let me show you what we did. We took our map and we broke it into segments that we can cover or uncover in more or less a straight line. We have segment one here, which starts at Denison and moves north of Carroll. Then we added segment two, which we treated separately. Then segment three, which goes to the upper right of the map. Segment four goes back down toward the bottom. Segment five is a tiny segment that just goes left and then segment six finishes it. So let me show you how we use the same technique we used earlier, but only in a slightly different way. I'm going to take segment one and drag it down on track number one. Then I'll take my unmarked map and drag that down on track number two. And hopefully if I did this right, they're the same length. Okay, we're good to go now. So what I'm going to do is click on my unmarked map, map number two on track two, in the mask designer. So I click on that. That takes me to my designer mask. I'll click the large white rectangle. And then I'll go ahead and turn off maintain aspect ratio. And then what I'd like to do here is I'd like to take this and change it a little bit. Um, you see it covers the green, so we're going to cover it and uncover it to make it look like it's moving. So I'll make this a little bit smaller here. Doesn't have to be nearly that big. You can make it a little larger than you want, but uh, you don't want it too small here. Okay, that looks like we need to rotate it just a little bit. We want to start at the beginning, so I'll move it over there. Slide it this way a little bit, and we'll come back to here. It looks like I need to widen it. There, the whole thing is covered. And now with this at the, I need to move my playhead at the beginning of the clip. Click on the position diamond in the keyframe area. And now I set the position, it's all covered. And now we want to uncover it during the course of this particular clip go to the very end and then we'll just drag it this way and it will uncover it and I click on OK and so when we go ahead and simply play the clip it will look like where it's moving from one place to the other so I successfully uncovered that segment now the problem was, if I tried more of the segment, if I kept moving that mask this way, I have some green over here, and what it was doing, it would also uncover that, and I'm saying that's for later. So I broke this into segments. Let me show you simply what I did. I took segment two, dropped it here, and then I took my map two again and dropped it down in the same area. And we simply repeated the process. I go into my designer, mask designer, and I go and I pick my rectangle, turn off, maintain aspect ratio. And now I needed to remember what part was with the first map and what part belongs to the second. I'm going to need to rotate this a little bit. 
and let's see and we started right here it's where it ended and then we'll move up and I need to make it smaller yet so we'll shrink it right to here and now I need to widen it back move it back over okay you need to get the start and stop right or it will jerk all right also the length of the clip will vary uh, otherwise it will seem to go faster in one segment than it does in another so you may have to tweak this but that's good enough to start with so we'll click on the position again we'll move the playhead to the end of the clip and then we'll animate this up here so it's just off the screen and click on OK now when we go back and play our entire movie from beginning we'll see that it's crawling along in the first segment I unmask that and now it's crawling along in the second segment. You notice there was a little bit of a jerk here between the first one and the second one and that means I have to make some adjustments. Let's do one more really quickly so you can see the pattern. And so now at the end of this clip uh, we're up uh, to this line over here. We'll take segment number three and drop it in. Okay that's a short segment so I don't want it quite as long as the others or it'll seem like it's um, uh, going slower so it's about maybe half to two-thirds of the length we'll make it about that wide we'll drag down our unmarked map again and shorten it to match uh, click on it and then click on my mask designer we'll pick the same mask and we'll set the same attributes about the aspect ratio Make sure our playhead's at the front. And uh, now all we need to do is uncover the horizontal area up there. So we'll start here, and you can magnify it if you want to uh, make sure you get it exactly right. That's pretty good, well, right about there. Okay, that's a good, good enough start. We'll click here, and then we'll move our playhead to the end of the clip and move it over here. Good enough. Click on OK. And I'll see how it works for the middle section here. I'll click uh, Movie, and we'll play this segment. It's moving up, and then it goes right, and it stops there. Okay, so you, you get the idea of how we're going to do the whole thing. I would need to do this, uh, repeat this procedure uh, uh, three more times in the course of my, uh, my completed project and I would have what you saw a few moments ago. But that's what you have to do in order to make sure that you're only unmasking a part that you can control with a single mask moving in a single direction at a time. But the end result really isn't too bad.